schools in the nation. Good morning, Mavericks. My name is Emily Avila. Please stand for our prayer and Pledge of Allegiance. Today is January 30th, Wednesday of the third week in Ordinary Time. Our theme today for Catholic Schools Week is celebrating our local leaders. We celebrate our namesake, Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy, who is the second Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Miami. He served as Archbishop from 1977 to his retirement in 1994. He died in 2005. As Archbishop, he led the growth of the Archdiocese a number of parishes, missions, and services. He also hosted the visit of Pope John Paul II to Miami in 1987. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Merciful Father, we ask your blessing on your servant, Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy. We thank you for his devotion to the faithful and for his leadership and pastoral approach to your children. We pray that we can all follow in his example of faithful service. We ask this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Mavericks. Welcome back, Mavericks. I'm Ava Delgado. And I'm Jonathan Foreman. Let's see what we've got for today's announcements. Well, greetings from AMP, the Archbishop McCarthy Press. AMP wants to remind you that you can check out their website for news articles every week. What is this AMP website, you say? Why, McCarthyAMP.com, of course. McCarthyAMP.com is our school's online news and journalism site, which contains articles and other content created for students by students. Check it out today, McCarthyAMP.com. Any students who wish to participate and create content for AMP, you can see Miss Santilli in the Mac Lab, room 401, for more information. Speaking of seeing your amazing hard work in print and pictures, it's time to lock in your copy of the 2019 yearbook. The theme this year is Mission Maverick, and you don't want to miss out on seeing all of your favorite memories. The last day to lock in the discounted pricing is tomorrow, and prices do go up on Friday, February 1st. Be sure to visit Justins.com today. Just to give you a little preview of what you won't want to miss, here's a sneak peek of a few pages. All right, no sneak peek, <laughs> but make sure to get your yearbook before this Friday because, as we did say, the prices will go up. And congratulations to Sergio Spears for being selected to perform in the All-County Broward High School Honor Band. The concert is Wednesday, January 30th at 6.30 p.m. Admission is free, so come on out and show your support. Forget, don't forget Valentine's <laughs> Day is coming up. Best Buddies Club will be selling Valentine's Day grams for $2. Stop by room 110 or, sp or speak with a Best Buddies Club member to buy grams for all your friends. The grams are to be passed out on Tuesday, February 12th. This Saturday, February 2nd, Paws for a Cause will be hosting our annual Walk for the, Walk for the Animals on campus from 10 a.m. to noon. There will be a DJ, adoptable animals, a bake sale, and of course, a baby goat petting zoo. Hours can be earned by walking laps and through monetary and item donations. Parents and friends and dogs are also welcome. So please see our flyer on Canvas or see Ms. Calder in room 200 if you need more information. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for that baby goat petting zoo. I was going to say, I want to pet a baby goat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's keep that school spirit going and make sure to stop by the Mav Games sign-up table today during lunch to choose your two games. Mav Games is going to be a great time. It's even better when you participate and help your class win. Can the seniors hang on to their title? See a MHS Canvas for the many games you can choose from and the, and the payment link. If you have already paid, please make sure to stop by the table at lunch to choose your games. Finally, we have an amazingly talented student that is going to be featured on the show of World of Dance. Congratulations to Lauren Beck and her dance troupe, the Dance Town Divas, who will be featured in the upcoming season. This show was set to air on February 26th, so set your DVR. 
And now on to Savannah Corp with Music Mania. Hey Mavs, I'm Savannah Korb, and welcome back to another episode of Music Mania. Let's jump right into our first episode of 2019 with the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is coming up this weekend, which means half of you will be watching it as diehard fans, and the other half will have no idea what's going on. This year, the Super Bowl halftime show will be featuring Maroon 5, headlining, and Travis Scott also joining, but only agreeing to perform under the conditions that the NFL donates the money he would have gotten paid to charity. One of the best parts about the Super Bowl is also the amazing commercials from Puppy Monkey Baby all the way to the dancing frogs in the street. One of the most anticipated commercials include Chance the Rapper and the Backstreet Boys top hit, I Want It That Way, while starring a Doritos Super Bowl commercial, which everyone is super excited for. In other news, young star Billie Eilish announces her debut album, which consists of When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, and the most, song, the most newest song released tomorrow. And finally, on this day, Elvis Presley started recording what would be his first al album at RCA's New York studio. But right before we wrap this up, let's go over the top five songs this week, Billboard's Hot 100. Number five is Sicko Mode by Travis Scott and Drake. Number four, still staying strong and even rising a couple spots, is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. Number three, a positive and uplifting song, Sunflower by Post Malone and Swa Lee. And number two, Without Me by Halsey. And finally, our number one top song of the week is Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. Okay, everyone, that is all I have for today, Mavs. I'm Spana Corp, and join us next time when Angel discusses Little Uzi's situation with his record label and news on Rolling Loud Music Festival in Miami. Well, thanks for that, Savannah. Now let's see what's going on in world news. Sweetheart candies have been a holiday staple for decades, but are not being newly produced in time for this year's Valentine's Day, since their original owner, Neko, went bankrupt. Krispy Kreme decided to save Valentine's this year and is launching a limited-time Valentine Conversation Donuts Wednesday to make up for all the small heart-shaped sugar candies. Sultry sayings, gracings, the donuts include crazy for you, pick me, call me, and say yes. Grammy-winning Grammy singer and songwriter James Ingram, who topped the charts with hits like Somewhere Out There, has died at the age of 66. Ingram was nominated for a whopping 14 Grammys and took home two trophies throughout his decades-long career, which started when he left his hometown of Akron, Ohio, for Los Angeles at just 18 with his band Revelation Funk. TMZ reports Ingram died after a battle with brain cancer. Purdue Foods is recalling more than 16,000 pounds of refrigerated chicken nuggets because of an undeclared allergen and incorrect UCP, UPC code. The announcement comes less than two weeks and after the company issued another chicken nugget recall because consumers found wood in them. The nuggets were shipped to stores in Connecticut, Delaware, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, New York, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Vermont, Virginia, West Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Desperate for data on its competitors, Facebook has been secretly paying people to install a Facebook research VPN that lets the company suck in all of a user's phone and web activity. Similar to Facebook's Onevo Protect app that Apple banned in June and that was removed in August. Since 2016, Facebook has been paying users ages 13 to 35 up to $20 per month plus referral fees to sell their privacy. 
And with that, let's check out what, this, what the rest of the week's announcements are. Okay, so Wednesday we have spring sports tryouts on, here on campus. There's flag football and lacrosse, baseball, softball, track, men's soccer districts at South Bride High School at 5 o'clock. And there's also a prayer service, which is going on right about now in the gym. On Thursday, we have women's soccer districts at St. Thomas Aquinas at 6 o'clock and the cheer state championship in Gainesville. And for lunch today, we'll be having clam chowder, roasted pork loin with pineapple glazed um, baked potatoes, tostones, uh, and sautéed spinach. That's all for today's edition of MAV News. I'm Ava Delgado. And I'm Jonathan Foreman. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone.